medium brown, light tan, light tan, medium brown. I got a Canadian flag stamp. So the next Canadian that orders a knife, I'm gonna put a Canadian flag stamp on it for you. And a uh, couple of interesting little, little stamps. And then I got a piece of leather back here. Hundred and seventy bucks. Hold on, there's somebody next to me. I don't want to think I'm crazy. I am, but I don't want him thinking that. And that was one whole knife right there. So anyway. I just uh, left the doctors. They're uh, testing me for rheumatoid arthritis. I got it. I mean, uh, let me show you this. This is, my knuckles are starting to go weird. My fingers are starting to go weird. And boy, do they hurt. My wrists hurt, my shoulders hurt, my hips hurt, knees and ankles. Is there anything else? We'll see you. So there is a, a double shoulder and a single shoulder. And uh, four, one, two, three, one more, and two stamps, and uh, one big stamp. 170 freaking dollars. Unbelievable. And that's what I was down to. That, that was all I had left. And, that's, and it's not even the good part of the leather. It's sort of like uh, this scrap I have here. It's real thin and got wrinkles in it and but anyway uh i went to my doctor and my doctor is under the impression that i'm just some fat recliner surfing tv watching blob my doctor is a very very nice guy but i'm sure he sees a lot of sedentary fat people and i am anything but and uh my wife <laughs> my face was getting red. I was getting so mad at this doctor, all the things he was saying about, I need to get up out of the chair and move around. And, and, uh, anyway, I did manage to say, doctor, I have a shop. I have a motorcycle. I, I know I'm a fat guy, but I'm anything but inactive. Anyway, I mean, if I'm not in this shop, I have a welding shop. A you know, mechanic shop, a knife shop. I'm in my leather shop. I mean, I'm always doing something. No, am I running and jogging? No, I'm not. Uh, but he doesn't know why. In his mind, I'm just a fat guy who doesn't want to walk. But the problem is, I was in a... I had an incident at work years ago. And it damaged me. Everything, it damaged me terribly, and I'm left with lifelong ailments because of it. And one of the biggest ailments is my lack of lung capacity. The acid that I got in my nose and in my mouth and down my throat and in my lungs burned out my lungs. Pretty, pretty much 40% is what the lung capacity that I lost. So I'm dealing with uh, two herniated discs in my lower back, three in my neck. I can barely walk to the shop, never mind walk a mile and a half every day or walk for half an hour. So uh, I just didn't go into it. I didn't bother. Stop. Plus he had another young fella in there. I don't know if he was a doctor or a student or what. And uh, I didn't want to, I think he was being maybe to impress that young fellow that was in there. He was being extra scolding to me. And uh, my wife w said I did good because normally I would not let somebody call me lazy. I mean, he didn't come out and call me lazy. I mean, he really, really, he is a nice guy. But he doesn't know what I have gone through and how I am fortunate to do what I am able to do. And, uh, 
yeah, I kind of, it made me mad. It really made me mad when I think about how badly I've been hurt and how much I do despite how badly I've been hurt. And uh, anyway, <laughs> so yeah, I almost didn't think about it anymore until I got down here and I just sat here and went over in my head all the all the ways he was telling me I had needed to stop being a big fat lazy slob. And I told him, you know, doctor, man, I, I have quit uh, drugs, I've quit booze, I've quit cigarettes. The only thing I do is eat a little more than I should. Otherwise, I'm normal in every way. Uh, it's just that I have, I didn't say, I said that to him, but I stopped short because I was, I was getting mad. And uh, sometimes when I get mad, I don't hold my tongue and I don't want to make him mad at me. He's a good doctor. But uh, anyway, moving on. So uh, I've got a couple of these new uh, stamps I'm going to try out right now. This is a mistake sheath. Uh, the sheath, not the last knife restoration did I did, but the one before that. It was the uh, Othello knife from Solingen, Germany. And somebody corrected me. It's Solingen if you're German, in Germany, but I'm not, so I call it Solingen, because we pronounce the G soft here, and, uh, you know, if I was in Germany, I'd pronounce it the way the Germans do, so if they say Solingen in Germany, good for them, but I say Solingen because that's the way we pronounce our G's. Okay, anyway, this was a sheath for that, but I accidentally made it a left-hand sheath, but if I was thinking... And I just did this just now. I cut the uh, I cut the tab off it, and uh, now I could sew the tab back here like I did on the last one, the belt tab, you know, the belt loop, and that would have worked just fine, and I would have saved myself this much leather. So, uh, a friend of mine just told me he's sending me two of the old German knives like I've r restored, and uh, maybe one of them will fit this. So I'll be looking for them. All right, and let me, uh, I'm gonna uh, put you in that and I'm gonna show you what this new stamp looks like. Golly, this trailer is leaning something terrible. Every time I get up out of the chair, I gotta go chase it down on the other side of the, the room here. All right, uh, I'll, sh I'll show you. This is just a star. And I think what I'm gonna do is uh, put this star in the corner like this and maybe one more and then on this side and this is my new one here Yep, it was starting to add up, and I was almost fixing to tell him, and I'd have to find another doctor if I did, but uh, I wanted to tell him that I don't go out and walk. I don't, because it hurts, and uh, I did walk for a little while there, but then I developed gout, and I couldn't walk. Kind of like it. It's just a big S. Kind of looks like barbed wire. No. Can you see that? What's well, interesting
<sighs> when I think of uh, all the things I've built and all the things I've made and all the machines I've fixed and to have somebody insinuate that I'm a lazy guy and, uh, you know, the reason I'm fat is because I need to walk. It does make me a little mad because in my mind, I think I do an awful lot for a guy with the amount of injuries I've got. And I know he's telling me this out of concern for my health and my size. I know that. But he doesn't know the whole story of me, you know? And, uh... <laughs> I like this. I like it a lot. Yeah, maybe put one more up here. Then I'm going to go across the top. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. So, I'm going to stop thinking about it. Y'all that know me know I'm anything but inactive. Okay, I like that. That's going to be a, a new design I'm going to try. So uh, this is what it'll look like. And then on the back side, I'll have a belt loop. I like it. I like it a lot. All right. That's all for now. Have a good Tuesday, y'all.